Hi everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Moods. Today is a real hot day, so I'm in the mood for something really refreshing. Today, I want to show you how I make my fruit salad smoothie with hemp hearts and coconut flakes. This smoothie recipe is very versatile. It can be used just as regular smoothie or it can be put in the freezer and be consumed as sorbet. Cream can be added to it and it can be made ice cream. Let's go ahead and see the ingredients. 100 grams of pineapple, 100 grams of mango, and 100 grams of strawberries all can be either canned or frozen or fresh one small avocado and one small apple one tablespoon of shredded coconut and two tablespoons of hemp heart this is how hemp hearts look like they are the hulled version of hemp seeds very rich in good quality protein, fibers, and omega-3, as well as anti-inflammatory properties. And my final ingredient is stevia, which I will use as my natural sweetener for this recipe. I will start by blending the mangoes in the blender without adding any water because I want it to be a little bit more puree-like then i will pour it immediately in my serving glass in the same blender but separately i will blend the strawberries then i will pour it on top of the mangoes forming colorful layers i will repeat the same steps with each fruit i have separately so now i am going to blend the avocados which will give me a green beautiful layer as I add my colorful layers it will look a little bit like that then I will blend the apples and for the apples I'm adding a little bit of water to make it easier to blend and a few drops of stevia I'm adding the stevia depending on how sour or sweet my fruits are and this will be my fourth layer and I'll repeat the same with the pineapple and add the final layer of my colorful puree mix so this is how it's gonna look like then I will top the cocktail with coconut flakes and the hemp seeds as much as desired if your fruits were already cold or frozen, you can serve it immediately. If not, you can chill it for half an hour in the fridge and it will be ready to serve. Hope you liked the recipe. The ingredients and the macros will be listed down below in the description box. And until the next recipe, 